Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Deus Ex. Had a bit of technical issues getting this running again, because it... Because as my life often goes, it just randomly decided to fucking stop functioning. You know, I'll be okay, thanks. Not, not Deus Ex itself, no. That'd be too sensible. No, my... Because uh, it's a pretty old game running on pretty new, uh, new software. Not really designed I'm to do that. Oh no. It was the fucking OBS software that's, that randomly stopped working. And I just realized I've got to actually get the money from the ATM. And last mission. Whoops. A anyways. Excuse me. Oh, What's the I... situation here? You're taking over. I've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse. What about the EMP field? Still in place. Your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source. Probably an industrial-sized generator in a large building. I'll question some of the locals. I ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the free clinic and at the underworld tavern, down in the corner. Maybe I'll start with the tavern. Why'd you have to clear the street? There's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Huh. Second floor, right? Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. All right. Wasn't expecting Paul to come in out of nowhere and interrupt my intro, but... Not much to say, really. We took out some... Uh, we saved some hostages through some slightly janky methods. Now, the Reading terrorists... reports of a hostage situation in the Ton Hotel, which is at the southeast corner of the block. When you stayed with Paul, did you meet Mr. Renton and his daughter, Sandra? We think at least one of them is still inside. God, do people love to interrupt me while I'm talking. But yeah, uh... So now we're going to... Head this place, Hell's Kitchen, to take down some EMP field. Do something, man. They're gonna kill him. Uh, hey. Nothing. I checked his pockets. You don't live underground and not have one of Charlie's cards. Make him not take off his shoes. Good. I that just sleep down there. Just freaking they don't give you money unless you're on the council. Take off your shoes. Their council Charlie has no reason to be stingy men? if he has a currency encoder. They just hacked a few accounts. They have some extra cash. That's it. I'm not asking again. Back <laughs> off, pretty boy. <laughs> oh, son of a... This is gonna be good. <laughs> she just... You just attacked your own god. What the fuck? You weren't even th swinging in my direction. What the heck was- What the heck is wrong with you? You murdered that guy for no reason. He wasn't even in my- It wasn't even in the way. You just turned around and- These NSF guys are lunatics. Goddamn. Did you see that? Yes, I- It was uncalled for. You mug people great. You need the dough. But you show some respect. Yeah. What were they after? <laughs> Especially when it's your ally. They came to us. They wanted an underground base. So those guys were NSF? Yeah, the NSF gives guns to anybody who wants to fight. A lot of people just take the guns and do what they want. So the terrorists are based in the subways. The sewers? So the terrorists they are based. They need to move some kind of secret equipment. Our tunnels are like the crossroads. Tell me how to find this base. I bet I can get the NSF off your back. Underworld. Just remember that word when you see Curly. He lets people in. Yeah. Alrighty then. Seriously, these guys are fucking lunatics. Mugging their allies. Fucking crowbarring their allies. Crazy people. Next manhole I see, I'm going underground and I'm not coming up. Yeah. If I, although, if I recall, it might have been better to not talk to that guy, or at least load after, because... Let me save him, sure, but there's a thing later on... Hmm, where you can pay for that path code, and you get a bit of XP for it, uh, get a, get a skill points for it. I forget how much, but it's probably worth it. Probably worth it. You really get a chance to buy skill points for cash. It's not like I'm gonna be running low on it anytime soon, but... Oh well, it's just a bit of skill points. 
I know, I probably offended, like, half of you by saying that. Court upholds New York gr grid law. New World Press, Washington, D.C. In a landmark 6-3 decision yesterday, the U.S. Co uh, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the controversial grid zoning laws that have been the subject of a number of a number suit since being instituted six years ago. A number suit. What? Okay then. Zoning laws. Duh. Those have been responsible for all sorts of shit. Originally passed by the New York Legislature in 2046 in response to the Upper West Side bombing that killed 45 people and wounded over 100. How is a grid zoning law supposed to help with terror? What? The grid zoning law effectively allows the police to wall off the regions of Manhattan and its surrounding boroughs. What? Okay, that's not the kind of zoning law I was thinking of. I was thinking like, you know, you know, the zoning laws that have, among other things, created a whole fucking housing crises and also, you know, separate everything into fucking different sections that are miles apart so that it's basically impossible to fucking exist without a car and all sorts of other shitty things that zoning laws have done. This is a bit worse. Put charge between these zones is prohibited and traveling between zones is restricted to authorized subways or highways subject to police surveillance. What the fuck? A travesty, says Gil Treble, representing the ACLU as plaintiffs in the case. Yeah, they're renowned for being effective and not corrupt at all. This law is nothing more than the legislation legalization of social oppression on a grand scale. <laughs> I Forget the social pressure, it's straight up tyrannical. Supreme Court Justice McCann wrote in his favorable decision that the unfortunate nature of American liberties is that freedom creates opportunity for terror. It is with heavy heart that I must conclude in this case that the freedom of individual Americans must be balanced against the needs of a community to feel safe and secure. No, that's terror. Terror built into the system. Fucking tyrannical asshats. Ah. Remember, we're the good guys. Because we've defined everyone that doesn't agree with us as terrorists. Therefore, we must be the good guys because terrorists are bad. Yes. Password? Underworld. Oh. Yes. Oh, too sick. Come back later. Okay. Alrighty then. Den. Hey, it's Den. Yo. You want these? What? Give him the grenades. Look, I know he's your brother, but... Your brother gave us these things. Look at this. Irritation to all exposed mucous membranes. What's that gonna do? Just tell Paul to give us bullets next time. Here's one. Prolonged exposure can damage the bronchial pathways. Prolonged exposure? It's like giving them cigarettes or something. Look, do you want these things? Are you talking about ga uh, the gas grenades? Because those things are fucking nasty. I haven't had a chance to show you them yet. Because I've been doing things all stealthy-like. But those things fucking com completely disabled them. It's child's play to take them out once they've been hit by that. Eh... I mean, it's it's no lamb, I admit, but I'd take that over bullets any day. That being said, if you don't want them, I'll take them, all right? Sure, hand them over. Here you go, with my compliments. Good luck. Yes, yes. How many of them? Whoa! I think it was like three. Very nice. I mean, I probably won't. I'm not certain I'm gonna actually use them before I start running out of space, but it'll certainly be helpful when it comes to climbing. Stay out of the town, bro. Bad shit going down. <laughs> Speaking of climbing, come on. The fucking this is augmented, but you can't. Jock. 
do a fucking pull up. And here we go. I do believe this is our good buddy Paul's room, or at least one of the rooms near him. CIA Factbook 2050, Hong Kong. Economic Overview. In the decades since Hong Kong has re been returned to Chinese control, <laughs> it has seen its economy thrive under the newly resurgent authority of the Chinese central government. Yeah, that, how's that one going for you, China? <clears throat> Led by a thriving technological market in human augmentation technology, the real GDP, real GDP, eh? has peaked every year since 2041, with all forecasting models predicting that this trend will continue well into the next decade, if not beyond. Yeah, people love using metrics like GDP, or real GDP, or, or all this sort of stuff, to say like, hey look, line goes up, numbers go up, clearly things must be going great. Meanwhile, in their, uh, meanwhile the real state of it is, well, Imagine a boot stamping onto a human face. Forever. However, the statistics do not represent an entirely accurate depiction of the state of Hong Kong- of the Hong Kong economy as- Yeah, exactly. As they fail to depict a flourishing grey and black market that it operates with at least a tacit approval of the Beijing re regime. Heh, <laughs> Beijing regime. Nice. While political oppression continues to present a major and ongoing problem to those living under Chinese rule, Entrepreneurism is alive and well in the form of organized crime, <laughs> as has always been the case. Anything and everything can be had for a price in Hong Kong. Sounds like my kind of town. Many of these criminal organizations can trace their lineage back to the triads that have existed for thousands of years throughout China and Southeast Asia. Alright, gonna run up this water bill real quick. <laughs> What's this? What's this key thing? Um, two, three, four. No, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. Okay. Great security, man. Come on, grab it. Ah. Hang on. Comfy chair. We have no need of comfy chairs. <laughs> Ow, didn't heal much at all. Whatever. Quick note, if you need any help with work, check the painting on the wall and count back from four. Gotta run. P. Yeah, I got that one already. Not exactly the hardest thing to crack. I'm turning that off for a second. I'm gonna turn that back on when I leave. Vishnu's Fall. A brief history of the Indian crisis. <laughs> <laughs> After the bombing, Indian officials issued a series of stern warnings to Pakistan that were rebuffed with denials of responsibility and dire threats that any attempt to use the bombings as a pretext for military action would be met with force in, force in kind. Well, yeah, I would imagine military action would be met with force in kind. What was that? About a terrorist? What? From the viewpoint of the present day historiographer, this was a crucial event. A game of brinksmanship that had been played between Pakistan and India many, many times before. And so, while tragic, it is also easily understood how clear signs of the impending catastrophe might have been ignored. Like two kids shoving each other on the playground, said historian Alastair Brooks, you never expect them to come to blows. This was before Pakistan began the trials of the Calcutta 16, and both nations descended into a maelstrom of political upheaval that would eventually culminate in the exchange of nuclear warheads. How pleasant. Alright. Again, apparently there's a terrorist somewhere. Oh, well, that, that's a fucking treasure trove. Ballistic armor. Mm. 
I'll grab it, I guess, because I've got inf inventory space. And all that. Where did it go? Ah. I think it might have gotten swallowed up. Hang on a second. Oh no, it's, I forgot it. Yeah, okay. Just got covered by that. Alright, fair enough. Hey JC, didn't have a chance to get you your own net account, so feel free to use mine in the meantime. <laughs> Login is P. Denton and password is Chameleon. Make yourself at home and I'll see you soon. Chameleon? Interesting password. P. Denton... What? P.S. Denton? I didn't press it. I didn't press S. What? Whatever. Chameleon. Can I spell that? Yeah, okay, good. Sweet charity, miss you. At generic mail dot whatever. I left a message on your machine, but wanted to follow up. With both of us traveling, it's so hard to it's hard to get together, isn't it? I miss you so much. I'll make it up to you when I get back. Oh wait, your brother's staying with you, isn't he? Well, just wait until you're alone. We'll work things out. Promise. Kisses. Okay. For a moment, I thought that was spam or something, but all right then. This is, this is either, either he's got a secret girlfriend or something, or this is some sort of, uh, uh or more likely this is some sort of, uh, sort of coded method sort of thing. Well, not exactly coded, but you know what I mean. Tired of life? Hello, friend. Has life become too impersonal, too tedious, too, too painful for you? Then now is the time to exert control, to make that decision which is ultimately the only real choice we ever have. The decision to die. Oh, fuck off. Exert control. Yes, exert control by no longer having control over anything because you no longer exist. This is the kind of sophistry I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Ugh. So, pr promoting the controversial idea that life is a good thing and that we, and that death is bad is almost as fucking obnoxious with all the sophistry and stupidity but I repeat myself that uh, as my work on promoting the controversial idea that eugenics mm -hmm. is bad but never mind that mm -hmm. so, settled in yet hey JC I thought I'd help you on your boxes, but I'm tied down trying to get one of the medical analyzers working. Damn thing nearly lasered off one of my fingers. Catch you later for a beer, maybe? Jamie. Message undeliverable. No message did not receive reach the following recipients. Message as follows. I'm definitely worried about the test results. There are some implications there that I'm afraid to pursue too much further. I'll talk to Tracer. Proceed with caution. Tracer? <laughs> Hmm. Classic movies, account verification. Mr. Denton, we've received your order for Blue Harvest and see you next Wednesday. At your earliest possible convenience, please remit C110, at which point they will be shipped immediately. Thank you for your business. Mercy Playground, 500 videos. Blue Harvest and see you next Wednesday. That's gotta be a code, surely. It's all running. Everything looted. All right, let's go. Hit the town. Now, what's about this? T these terrorists that I can see. Ooh, Bellevue reports an increase in admittance. That's way more important than terrorists. Bellevue Hospital has reported a 50% increase in the number of patients admitted over the last three months compared to the same period last year. A disturbing trend, said Dr. James C Cabell, 
and one that's stressing our personnel to the limits. <laughs> hmm. Many of those admitted are homeless that the police can't or won't deal with. Some of them afflicted with the Grey Death. We simply don't have the facilities to deal with those cases, and most of the hospitals refuse to accept them. Many have linked the outbreak of mental illness to the recent rise in recreational drug use. In particular, the new designer drug, Zyme. Speaking in condition of anonymity, one public official said that Zyme has become a threat to the public welfare. There have already been discussions with Washington on a zero-tolerance solution. Oh yeah, that always works. Others have suggested chemical contamination could be the culprit, citing the recent chlorine spill that has rendered the East River almost lifeless. Yeah, that might have something to do with it. Hi. Oh, hi. Uh-oh. What? Oh yeah, I had forgotten about this fucking section. Ugh. This section is just impossible to do stealthily. Just straight up. You try to do it stealthily, you will get caught no matter what, because they will just magically catch you as soon as you try to go in. Like, watch. Is... is someone there? See what I mean? Yeah, you're better off just fucking tossing a gas grenade in and like Billy the and going in with a baton and hoping for the best. Uh -oh. That's going to be far more productive than it is actually intelligent. There, as you can see, running in like a lunatic worked perfectly well, saved all the hostages and everything. Whereas actually trying to be intelligent about it and sneaking in and taking them out carefully with the mechanics that I know by heart by now fails immediately because they just magically instantly t know that I'm there even though I've given them no indication whatsoever and then they just shoot the hostages. But throwing a grenade doesn't trigger that. Oh no, that would be silly. This, this section is utterly retarded. It might just be the most retarded section in all of Deus Ex. Or at, least, or at least the most concentrated retardation. In the, because there's a tiny little area that's completely and utterly stupid with no redeeming factors whatsoever. Anyways, your new account number is 543654 and the pin number is 5544. For your protection, we recommend you do not share this information with anyone and wipe your this data cube after committing it to memory. Yeah. Whoops. Thanks for taking care of those guys. You from the police? You Natco. Yeah? Well, you might be interested. I heard them talking. They said something about it, how they had just put in a generator in a warehouse a few streets south of here. Did you catch the name of the street? No, but they were talking about their security setup. Anything interesting? It sounded like there was underground access. They're using the word righteous as some kind of password. That's very helpful. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Oh God, this is gonna give me a fucking headache. I hope you're enjoying this, especially those of you with epilepsy. Good times. The best of times, even. Oh, this. Trying to catch my breath. Wait. And what's up? Oh, nothing is up here. Wait, hang on. Okay, first of all, why does. Why did looking over that way cause me to fall? Secondly. Oh, ooh. I have so many fucking lockpicks and multi tools. God damn. Well, that's future proofing, I suppose. All right, just one more bozo. This one is also capable of instantly noticing me as soon as I go within a certain area because he's a fucking cheating bastard. But fortunately, he's too stupid to execute his hostage. So should just need a riot prod. Ping. You better get out of here, Mr. Ren. Why would you do that? Why? What? 
utter retardation let you to believe that that was a good idea. This whole fucking section is retarded. It's just like, oh, what's that? You want to do stealth or anything remotely intelligent that engages with the uh, mechanics that have been set up for this game? Go to hell and stop playing our game. Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Chesterton. First of all, what is it really all about? What is it you object to? You want to abolish government? To abolish God, said Gregory, opening the eyes of a fanatic. We, we do not only want to, we do not only want to upset a few despotisms and police regulations. That sort of anarchism does, does exist, but it is a mere branch of the nonconformists. We dig deeper and blow you higher. We wish to deny all those arbitrary distinctions of vice and virtue, honor and treachery, upon which mere rebels base themselves. The silly sentimentalists of the French Revolution talk about the rights of man. We hate rights as we hate wrongs. We have abolished right and wrong. And right and left, says Syme with a simple eagerness. I hope you will abolish them too. They are much more troublesome to me. <laughs> nice. Yo. You all right, Mr. Oh, Rowe? Now you're willing to wait for me. Fine, to I think that's all of them. You got the guys upstairs, right? Yeah. How's your daughter? Is she somewhere safe? I don't know. She's been gone all week. I try not to think about it. Tonight's a bad night to be on the streets. I'll take a look around. Hey, if you see Sandra, tell her I don't care. I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions. No speeches. Sure. <laughs> Uh, he just dies out here like, oh, please, I just want my girl to come home, and, and this guy's like, sure. I don't, I can't blame him, really. He <laughs> like, turns to stare at me. Uh, alright, what was the, uh... All right. Five, four, three, six, five, four. Oh, my name. No? What? Okay. I guess that code just doesn't fucking function. Sure, why not? Ooh, fire extinguisher. Could come in handy in the far future. Thanks. Thought I was a goner. Well, where does this bee go? Hang on. Han Hotel North Room Key. Trying to catch my breath. You just about saved my life. Just about. Here we go. Any terrorists? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, for someone whose vision is augmented, these shadows sure are fucking. Hard to see into. Yeah, that's because he's wearing sunglasses. Hi. Look at this. Zyme. Ooh la la. I guess I'll grab some. You never know when I'm, I come in handy. I forget what it does, actually. Like, for me, anyways. Oh. I remember one of the mods, I think it was GMDX, it, they added some whole mechanics about using these, either this and cigarettes and such, and alcohol that gave you some pretty neat effects, but also... Uh, there were the mechanics about...
the about uh, addiction and such. Huh. I could have sworn the Cobra did more damage than that. Oh well. Why do I even why do I even have this Cobra with me anyways? Takes up, takes up more space than my other melee weapons. And does less. Well, I guess it's got more damage than the combat knife. But less damage than the baton, which is weird. If you think about it. So don't think about it. I guess this is one potential use for that uh, combat strength argument that I didn't talk about busting through doors. Because if I were to have a uh, master level baton, uh, low tech rather, that would be 14 damage with a baton, which I think would be doubled to 28 with max level. Uh, with, with max level combat strength. And then I'd be able to take down a very weak door. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. A bit. I'd probably be better off just putting putting points into pistols or some such. Or, more likely, just using the goddamn Gep Gun. Speaking of which... I mean, I know I just talked about how many fucking lockpicks I have, but... Well... The man who... The, the man who has the, you know, 100 sheep... Still cares about the one that goes missing, because... You wouldn't have a hundred sheep if you didn't care. Speaking of which... You know the whole proverb. And that's why I'm gonna load for that, because that is not nearly worth a, even a gep rocket. Much less a lockpick. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Join the net church of God and know that your immortal soul will truly be saved. Backed up on a data cube and stored in our secure, hardened crypt. Until the day of rapture. <laughs> Don't trust your soul to, the, uh, to other religions that promise similar services based on vague, ambiguous, and unverifiable promises of forgiveness and acceptance. <laughs> oh, guess they do have an advantage there, assuming you actually... <laughs> if... Yes, because uh, ba backing up a soul on a data cube is far less and vague, ambiguous, and unverifiable. Now that you're talking about backing up their, like, brain on a data cube or whatever. But I don't know if that's, if that's possible in this timeline. I mean, they can, cer they can certainly do some crazy shit with, like, a with AI and such, but backing up an entire human brain, I don't know. I don't remember. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. The exact location of our crypts is a closely guarded secret. For rest of Oh, that's great. For rest easy knowing that they're protected by miles of rock somewhere beneath the Appalachian Mountains. Even in the event of a catastrophe, biblical or otherwise, an auxiliary nuclear generator will ensure that your soul's checksum is verified daily for millennia to come. While service sensors constantly monitor for the last days when the crypts will be, will be opened and all souls will be free to ascend to heaven. You know, unless there's a cave in or whatever. Why trust your soul to anything else? Yeah. Alright. Makes about as much sense as anything, I suppose. Cigarettes. Yo. There were a couple of NSF on the second floor. I took care of the situation. 
What about the hostages? Dead. Doing fine. You guys can relax. Alright. Oh, I didn't even know I was on the situation. Oh, what? Oh, right. This whole sequence. I cannot tell who's winning. I feel like the NSF are winning here, honestly. Except when they decide to switch to charging in with knives. And then running away. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh wow, the NSF are kicking their asses, what? I feel like normally the NACO wins this, but they are just spectacularly incompetent today. Wait, what? Why are they green? Okay, I guess the NSF don't care about me, except that one guy. What the heck is happening here? I guess I'm on your side, according to my UI. Oh, except you. What is happening here? Well, that was confusing. Highly, highly confusing. Got an assault rifle. Yeah. Ooh, and a key. Osgood and Sun, say. All clear. Evidently. We took him out. Evidently. We have the situation under control, Agent. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Ooh, free clinic. I'll be taking that. If it's free after all. I, uh, I heard Our a lot of are running scared. Reminds me of I Washington. I was there when the NSF overran Squamomi, back when they were called the Northwest Secessionist Forces. It were you still? at Squalmami? Yeah, it was night. They came in with their mop to camel and we never picked them up on any of the sensors. What a goddamn mess. I didn't know. Had a hard time sleeping after that. Didn't do real good on the psyche valves either. Got drummed out in short order. The army probably didn't want to have any reminders hanging around. Yeah, and now look what they got. NSF in downtown Manhattan. Same guys that nearly whooped us in the Northwest. Bet the brass remember Squall Nomi now. Welcome to Tenderloin Clinic. Tenderloin Clinic? Excuse me. This account has been locked pending investigation. Who will help the widow's son? Excuse me? Oh, sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. Is that a code word? Not now. Please. Leave me alone. You look like the do-it-yourself type. How about the automated care plan? Only 2,000 credits. I thought this was a free Maybe clinic. Maybe 300. But if you want augmentation work, you need the bots. Augmentation? Never mind. As you wish. One of the doctors can help you. Got a few credits? You have the plague? Nah. Cops ran us off the streets. Usually I go into the water tunnels in the warehouse district, but somebody boarded up the window. You live in a tunnel? Actually, I like to stay on the roof of this big apartment building. Nice view, if it's not too cold. There's a freight elevator at the end of the tunnel. Where's that window you were talking about? It's a basement window in the park south of the hotel. All right. Didn't even need to give him cash. Just kind of volunteered up that information. Very convenient. I want satisfaction. We've done all that we can. It's time for you to go. 
This is supposed to be a free clinic. But you do something if I had more money. You've got the plague, sir. You know, rich people don't get great death. Don't make me call security. Like Mr. Billionaire Bob Page. He don't have it. The president don't have it. I never seen a movie star who's got it. You don't have it. No. Oh, wait your turn. You should be more appreciative by helping you, the, the gentleman, risks his own health. You should be more appreciative by helping you, this gentleman, risks his own health. But he won't give me any medicine. He doesn't have any Trust to give me. him. When there's a cure, the city will underwrite the cost. The virus threatens everyone. I don't believe you. And I won't hesitate to prescribe the treatment for you. You better not. Yeah. I mean, this doctor, he's not exactly one of the elite. It's not like he's the one screwing you over. Thank you. The ones with the plague can be so stubborn sometimes. Can't imagine Don't why. mention it. Let me express my gratitude. You can have the automated care plan for 1200 That's at a 40% discount. Or a med kit for 180 Hmm. Never mind. Soon. Let me first, uh... My friend. I want the full program. The code to the surgery bay is 2153. The medical bots will handle your case from now on. Ah, thank you. 2153. Much obliged. Now I'm gonna go use that code without actually paying you. Too bad the med kit is behind the lock and not a... Oh. Oh, one of those annoying things. You can only go... One of the doctors can help you. Hacker man. How do I do it? Good question. Let's see, I could install this, but... I really want to bother... It's a torso slot. What else could I put in the torso slot? I forget. Alright, I can put... Uh, let's see, there's... There's regeneration, there's energy shield, there's... Power recirculator, synthetic heart, and all that. But I can only get... I can only get one of power circulator or synthetic heart. And energy shield is... Hmm... Really not that useful, to be honest. Not to me, anyways. Regeneration sure is. But then again, do I really care about Aqualung or environmental resistance? I mean, what does environmental resistance protect me from, anyways? Like, really, what things does it protect me from? I mean, there's. I mean, I believe it does basically the same thing as the hazmat suits. You know, protect, protect me from, like, the. Various, well, environmental hazards, also tra tranquilizer darts and such. Gas grenades. I, well, I do. I guess that would be helpful for dealing with my own gas grenades, certainly. Mm. It's not like I care about energy shield. I mean, sure, if I'm gonna... I mean, if things are shooting at me with, like, a flamethrower or fucking gep gun rockets or some such... Then I've kind of already d uh, fucked up. And anyways, regeneration can hand uh, can always handle that, assuming I survive. And I guess it would help with electrical hazards, but yeah. So sure. I mean, Aqualung is pretty useless for me considering I'm uh, leveling swimming. So yeah, let's go for it. Why not? There we go. And heal all. You must pay the doctors in cash before treatment can begin. Well, first of all, apparently not, considering I didn't. But second of all, again, Christ. I thought this you was supposed to be a fucking a free clinic. Yeah, what about Does it? free mean something Everyone else know. in the near there future? Is no cure. How do you know? They show you stuff in the military. You want to know the real battlefield? It's microscopic. We can't even see it. Lucky for me, I got immunizations, but that guy... Well, once you're infected, you're infected. And what about me? I don't know. You got lucky. Not a bad thing to be. <laughs> Alright. 
All clear. Oh, what's this? We read the breach of security in your New York first federal account. Multiple, all your assets prior to the unauthorized transactions have been transferred to account number 947761 with the pin number 2867. Ah, John Palmer. I see. Okay, so that's why the earlier one wasn't working. It's out of date. Now, uh, where the fuck am I even going? Oh, damn, it's really <laughs> easy to get lost in here. Salesman? Joe Green, Midnight Sun. Glad to know you. What can you tell me about what's going on out there? Sorry, regulations prevent me from talking to the press. Regulations, huh? So you are part of the crackdown. Like I said, I have nothing to say. Too stylish for the National Guard? Too athletic for NYPD? <laughs> you must be from UNATCO. I really can't be bothered right now. Here I was about to praise them for simulating pool in this, but no, this is horrendous. They're not even they're not even really balls, they're fucking polyhedrons or whatever. They move so ridiculously. Look at this! This is atrocious. Oh, that's a bit better. Oh, they're scattered a bit more. All right, now we can actually start playing pool. All right, kind of. Ah, here's the eight ball. Here we go. I think. Okay, scratch that. Come on. I can't exactly m measure your fucking. I can't exactly give it a good measured strike. How did that not go in? Angles of approach are limited. Oh. I could have fucking tapped that and go, uh, gone in, but no. He's gotta get him right dead on if they want them to actually go in. God damn. Come on! There we go. This isn't exactly cool, as you can see, but. If the game, if this game's gonna cheat, then so am I. Oh hey, they're actually going down. Oh, this fell out. All right then. They're they're fucking phasing through. What? Wait, no, they're not phasing through. There's nothing preventing them from getting out. No, wait, there's a little gap. I see. There's a little lip there. Okay, I see. So they are phasing through. No, no, they're just going on it, I guess. Hard to say, really. Whatever. There was an attempt made. I'm not gonna call it a good attempt, but it's a neat one, I suppose. Certainly diverting. go, and there we go, all down. This was definitely a valuable use of my time. Yo, pilot guy. Mind if I ask you a few questions? 
Hey, you look like the vigilante type. What if I said I knew where you could load up on military hardware? Where's that? That's valuable information. We'll have to come up with some kind of payment. How about liquor? I don't have any liquor. The bar's to my left. Well, or I could, you know. Excuse me. Here. What do you have for me? You have this bottle of wine. You could have this bottle of wine. That one's warm. Give me something from the bartender. Oh. I'm gonna have to fucking pay for alcohol. Lame. What can I get you? You work here, you must know the area. Heard of anyone hiding a large generator? Not exactly, but if it's anywhere, it's probably in the warehouse district. Where's that? A few blocks south. Not a bad walk, but the riot police have blocked the roads because of the NSF. I'd like to check it out. Well, you may be out of luck. Even though one of the old warehouses faces onto the park, I don't know how you get inside. Sounds like a good place to start. Something to drink. Everything in the bar, snacks too, just ten credits. That's some heavy augmentation. That's some heavy augmentation. Yeah. Thanks, Yunetko. What's it to you? I'm in the business. Well, I was in an early program, okay? I can nice still polish a glass. Good luck with your business. All right, then. Oh. Shoot. Kind of awkward, but all right. Beer, please. There you go. I, said, I asked for a beer, not 40. What do you have for me? Here, you can have this beer. Is it cold enough for you? You can have this beer. That'll do. His name's Smuggler. What a name. Real paranoid nut. Wires himself in with booby traps, but he knows things. There's stuff in the sewers that only Smuggler knows about. Thanks. Maybe I'll pay him a visit. Now I'll tell you something you can't hear from anybody but me. Ooh. What's that? Area 51. <laughs> you heard of it, right? Oh, dear. Actually, I'd rather hear whether you know anything about a warehouse with an illicit generator. I worked out there. Most people think they got aliens from another planet, but I didn't see any flying saucers. You want to hear about it? I'll tell you. For the price of a beer. Oh, this is definitely a very useful use of my time. Sure, why not? The tap's out. Only bottles. Beer. There you go. Sure, let's see. let's hear this talk about Area 51. What do you have for me? Frankly, if I was the government, I'd be putting aliens anywhere except Area 51. You know? I mean, maybe there were aliens at some point, but would they would the government really be stupid enough to keep them there after everyone already knows that Area 51 is where the aliens are? All right, yeah, they would be that stupid, but well, <laughs> never mind. You can have this beer. I appreciate it. Yep, I know for a fact it's not just for government research. I've seen all kinds of executives coming and going. If you know what I mean. I'm sure plenty of bureaucrats fly out there. Billionaires, big executives. I think the whole place has been taken over by a private corporation. Not likely. Something's going on underground. I'm a pilot, which means I didn't get any access to the main complex. But a lot of rock comes out of there. It's some kind of mine. But what I don't understand is why they're always laying more fiber optic cables. A pilot? What do you fly? Copters. You know what I think? I think that's where the UN moved Echelon 4 back when they promised they were going to stop spying on people. Surveillance is a very distributed technology. To centralize it in one large facility would be very unusual, even for the UN. I bet they did it. They want to centralize everything. Every computer on the planet. Oh. Interesting ideas. Although, the whole thing about the billionaire executives and such coming and going, well, they effectively are the government, if you catch my drift. Know anything that's worth the price of a beer? Ah, this old bird's had enough. Well, I'm about to go on duty. What kind of chopper pilot starts work at midnight? You're with Yonatko, right? Why do you ask? I'm the one that flies your brother Paul to Hong Kong. He told me to watch out for you. I didn't know Yonatko hired pilots. The black choppers are run by the NSA to support various classified operations. Pentagon uses them, the CIA. 
They hired me because I don't ask any questions. Yeah, well, Jock. Wait, when did I learn his name? Whatever. You may not be interested in asking questions, but you sure are interested in answering them. I don't know how useful any of the answers you gave me are, like said, but well. I know how to keep a secret. Even between brothers. So he's holding something back. The reason Unaco transferred him back to the States. Listen to your brother, JC. Respect his experience. Let's leave it at that. Alright. Your brother's one of the bravest men I am drug dealer. We're talking about your wife, the Grey Death. I don't know. If I gave it to her, then it was cut. Jojo's good for it. People know him. He'd be hanging from a streetlight if he was selling bad vaccine. Hey, Jay, get caught. Use a little vodka this time. Yes. Uh, excuse us, we're having a conversation. You would never forgive yourself if... I know, I know. It's to be expected. Ambrosia's a controlled substance. Most people don't even think it exists. To be pain and shits in a grimy alley somewhere. You ought to be thankful the dealers got their hands on it. A week from now, listen to me. I say this for your own good. Next week, it might be too late. Hey. I said leave us alone. Yes. Just tell me where you get plenty to get Ambrosia. I'll make sure you're arrested on a conspiracy charge. That's coming on a bit a little bit strong at the start. Just curious. Thought I heard you say Just Ambrosia. Curious. I thought I heard you say Ambrosia. My wife has the plague. He already lost his daughter. Sorry to hear that. So do I trust some street punk called Jojo to get me pharmaceuticals? Trust him with my wife's life? I thought Ambrosia was an urban legend. Jojo probably just wants to sound like a player. I shouldn't get my hopes up. I don't know what to say. You just have to do what you think is right. Yes. But I think Jojo's good for it, you know? I'm gonna do it. I guess it depends on which Jojo. I hope she does better. Can't be any worse for her than morphine. Hey, a Shay, one for the road. I ask a boy to go right it. I'm looking around for a power generator, possibly hidden, large enough to power a building. You in real estate? Sure. I just need to find it. Oh, oh, oh of course. You know, I tied in power at a place a few blocks south, a warehouse. Strangest thing, they wanted to conceal these gas-driven generators on the second floor. Didn't give a hoot if their own people got asphyxiated. How do I get over there? No way through the blockades now. We went over some rooftops to get there. There was a lift. The code was 3316, I think. Thanks. Thanks for the tip. Alright. Good to know. You think being a Yanako agent and all, I'd be able to get through the blockades, but apparently not. Alright. 2867. All this work for 36 bucks. Great. Just what I always wanted. Ah. Oh, I can upgrade low tech again. Could come in handy. Maybe. I'll hold off. And you know what? This seems like a good time to stop for the day. I suppose. Uh, I'm starting to, uh, even if it isn't, I'm starting to feel the effects of heat syncope a bit. And I don't feel so good. I, I'm beginning to stop either way. I don't know what it is, but today... And you know, we've had some excitement, some interesting stuff. So you know what? Let's call the episode here. This, these episodes are fucking long. They're fucking overly long to begin with. So... Next up, I suppose we're gonna check out this, check out that smuggler, and then see what about, see about these warehouses, and check out this JoJo. Have ourselves a very peculiar journey, a very odd endeavor. But until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember. Dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.